Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Precipice by Flame Tusk. It's been a long time, how have you been? I've been really busy being without a laptop. Getting the Platinum Trophy for Horizon Zero Dawn may or may not have had something to do with it. So, with the Opus Magnum and Subnautica, but that's besides the point, because now we're getting back to testing. The music is Precipice from Subnautica, Precipice and anything else Subnautica related, not that I think there's anything else in this test, but just in case, belong to Unknown Worlds Entertainment. As long as you show this in your video, or mention it, or whatever, there won't be any problems with copyrights, so if you're recording this, you won't need to mute the music. And there's a link to the video policy. Excellent. Thanks to Aaron for creating Bmod Music Changer, and it's the first time Flame Tusk has ever really needed to put acknowledgements like that. Anyways, let's check it out, before OBS freaks out about me reading a static screen for so long. Not sure if I've seen this intro before. Right. So immediately, I noticed from the thumbnail that we've got this thing right here, and that immediately reminded me of one of the campaign maps, the one where... the one where GLaDOS, uh, says we've been putting on a lot of weight in suspension or whatever, the train horn... Oh no, the train horn was with the companion cube. I always get those confused for some reason. Oh, there is that Subnautica music. Interesting. So that drops a cube down here. Oh, which you can actually pick up, interestingly enough. Hmm. Although I don't think we want to, necessarily. Let's just- let's just put it there, I guess. Cause where would we take it? This Sizzler... does not appear to turn off at all. Yeah, this Sizzler doesn't turn off, so we couldn't take the cube anywhere. And there's nothing else at this level with which we could really do anything. Hmm. Oh wait, that does have a connection to turn it off. That, right there, apparently. Huh. How might we do that, though? What does this do? There we go. That does... Oh, this fizzler, huh? Interesting. So at the end of the day, we want a cube in here. And we also want... I see. I see how this is gonna work out eventually. Alright, so what is up here anyway? Aside from the laser catcher. Just a place to put a cube, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it looks like we can actually do that somehow. Maybe. Yeah, except the portal's the wrong way around, so... What might we do instead? I mean, we can move this cube around, that's- that's easily determined. There's not, like, a way... Hmm. Definitely needs to come out of the top of the portal, because it's not aligned up- We can't put a cube up there and point at it, so it's gotta come out of the top of the portal, interestingly enough. How would we make that happen, though? Hmm. Well, I notice we can point this into there. Kind of. Where is it? It's resting on the very edge weird. Come on now. Don't be that way. There, that kinda works. And then we can take this up here and I guess do something with it. That's not helpful. That is not helpful at all. Yeah, it's even the wrong direction. Oh, but maybe we were supposed to do an angle like that? We actually need more of an angle. Interesting. No, no. Plus, that's, this is more of an angle. There we go. Right, so. Then, let's do that. And that. Yeah, that should work, mostly. Let's get the cube back down there, please. And let's see what this does. I think I already know, but, you know. So that's one of the exit requirements. And I think we'll want to actually use laser angles again, so let's put this, like, right there. Come on now. 
and see if we can't, perhaps... Can we do this at all? Hey, that works! Fancy that. I'm usually not a fan of laser angle puzzles, but this one was okay. Oops, come on. Right, so then, the other thing that we need this fizzler to be off... Hmm, and that's with that up there, ooh, yeah. Didn't quite consider that. Hmm. Let's save real quick. Maybe... Maybe I can do, like, something like... Like this. And... I'm gonna have to turn around to make this work, but maybe we can hit... No. This is looking very much like we're not gonna be able to do that. Okay. But that's okay, we can- we can easily sh shoot this again, so let me move this out of the way. There we go. And... What is going on with the portals there? There we go, that should work, maybe. Come on. There we go, so there's that. So we can make that work, but then the question is, how do we also get this to work? Can we hit that from here? I don't think we can. I specifically think that is not going to work well. Hmm. So what if... Let's- let's just set that up. And... Their way... kind of. Not really. Because the stupid laser keeps hitting me. Can I do... Oh my gosh, this is infuriating. I do this. Alright, so there's that. Yeah, but then what? I honestly have no idea. I'm not really good with laser angles, as I said. I'm, I'm not really a fan of laser angle puzzles. I think lasers should be restricted to eight directions only, in my opinion. Or even four directions for most puzzles. Hmm. I think we need to find a way to hit that from in here. Come on. This is gonna be a lot of trial and error. Closer, I need it to be closer. Not quite like that. Uh, can I just go in here and... do this? Well, this is not really... ideal. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. What is with this portal surface, man? Ugh. 
Oh my gosh, it went for a moment, but then the Fizzler blocked it. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I did it. I really hope that's not intent, because that's really dumb if it is intended. That is real dumb. Okay, but now the problem is... How do I do this? Because I need to take that cube with me. I need to use this cube to hit that and that somehow. How am I supposed to do that? Because the angle is so extreme here. Yeah, that just barely works. From here, it's like, impossible. Like, even if we use that instead, it's still like, majorly not doable. Hmm. I guess we could at least get this cube in here. At least do this. Come on now. Okay, apparently we're playing as Shell. Sorry, Shell. We've got that at least. But then I have no clue what to do. We need to hit. We need to hit this guy. And there's just no easy way to do that. Yeah, look at that angle, it's way too extreme to work. Hmm. I think I have to, like, bounce it off the cube while it's on the button, which is weird. But let's try that. The angle might just work out if that's the intended way to do it. Let's aim this... ...like... ...like this. That might work. Yeah, that works. Okay. Alright, so now that we have that... ...let's do... ...that. And now let's see if we can do this at all. Oh no. Oh no! Well, that's a problem. <sighs> well, let's try moving it to this side. And just because I'm impatient, what the? Where did I end up? How did I do that? Okay, whatever. I, I no clip through the portal somehow. Just because I'm impatient, I'm gonna no clip around and do this because I hate having to reload the quick save. It takes over. Yeah, this is the angle that'll work. But. How- as for how you're supposed to figure that out, without trial and error, I have no idea. As I said, I'm not a fan of laser angle puzzles. Alright, let's try this now. Come on. Nope, still not working? Still not working, huh? We put it on the very edge of the button. Kind of. Like, how are you supposed to figure that out? It just doesn't make any sense. There we go. And then we can do that. And then we move this over here, and do that. Oh, come on. Oh, but now I can't... I can't get to the exit now! Place the portal, please! Jeez, what is up with that portal surface? I don't know what's wrong with that portal surface that makes it so hard to place the portal, that's weird. So we can do that much. Then there's no way to hit that... ...in any reasonable form or fashion. Well, 
Well, that's close. But once again, it's, it's trial and error. It's like, this is the one thing I hate the most. You can hear it in my voice, I'm just not a fan of this. Like, either I'm completely missing something obvious, or this is, like, really dumb. I don't know. Like, if I could see where the laser was gonna go with, like, a dashed line before I place the portal, that'd be fine, but... But this is just guessing. Oh my gosh. There. Let's pretend that I got that, eventually, through trial and error. Right, so now that I've done that, now what? Now we do this. I think this is what we do now. Yep, if that's- if that's the intended solution... It's a solution video here. I- I need to see if I did that right, cause that- that just doesn't feel... ...anything like a good puzzle to me. That just feels like trial and error. Let's speed this up a bit here. Oh, he's got the default petty music. <laughs> I mean, puzzle maker music, whatever. You know what I mean. But, uh... So he does that right away, just showing that off. Adi yada yada. Yep, there's that... Okay, so he does that angle like I did. And it's, he's having just as much of a frustrating time as I am, it seems. So it's not just me with the frustration. Yep, I did that. Yeah, yeah, so that angle is definitely... It's definitely a guess the angle puzzle, unfortunately. Yep, he's, he's even having trial and error himself right now. Yeah, 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 okay, well. I soon enough. Yep, I'm not a fan of this. That's... Don't... Don't make puzzles that require lots of trial and error with getting the laser angle just right. Restrict yourself to either four directions for the lasers, or make it very obvious what the angle needs to be, because otherwise it's just... it's just very frustrating. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!